Residents in Westover Hills are out speaking. They're speaking out after anti-Semitic flyers and bags filled with rocks were found in their neighborhood. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith was in that area today speaking with residents. Olivia, what did they have to say? Well, Eric, I'm actually in that neighborhood right now, and if this all sounds familiar to you, that's because it is. A similar incident happened in Bonaire just a couple months ago. Now, anti-Semitic flyers like that Coming fall under what you, the Anti-Defamation League considers to be hateful, hateful propaganda. And uh, they say that Virginia leads the nation in reported incidents like that, second only to Pennsylvania. Public figures marked with the Star of David as flyers equating gun control and immigration with Judaism are distributed in Richmond. Most of my neighbors are absolutely disgusted. Jane Stone says it happened in Westover Hills in July. Out for a walk with her dog, she noticed something strange in her neighbor's driveways. I just don't want people to forget that this is happening, that there is these hateful people out there, and we don't know how many they are. And we don't know when the flyers are going to escalate to something else. Plastic bags appeared to be scattered randomly inside a flyer and some rocks. It was disgusting. It was gross. It's part of a larger issue of anti-Semitic and white supremacist incidents, which Morgan Moon with the Anti-Defamation League says are on the rise in Central Virginia this year. Similar flyers distributed in Bonaire in June and a mosque in Henrico vandalized during Ramadan. Even though law enforcement might not be able to do something about it at that moment because it does not fall within criminality, it is important for them to understand what groups are operating within their space. Referencing data from 2021, Henrico police were investigating racist flyers left in bags in Verina and Fairfield, and Chesterfield police investigating similar instances in Midlothian. Even at the federal level, the Department of Justice continues to track increases in overall hate crimes. I wish it didn't happen anywhere. I especially wish it didn't happen in my neighborhood, but I, it's just sad to see. Now, I also spoke with the Jewish Community Federation of Richmond, a spokesperson saying that incidents like this are prompting their partner agencies across the country to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in security in an effort to keep their community safe. Live in Richmond tonight, Olivia Jake with 8 News.